So how significant is this for the charity? This is extremely significant for the Iron Benevolent Fund. This is the first time that anything on this scale has happened with a major national supermarket. What we'd like to see is the other major national supermarket brands getting on board, supporting our soldiers, supporting the Army Benevolent Fund. All they need to do is do a collection, as you, like you see behind me, outside their stores, once, twice a year, and we can really raise a significant amount, amount for the Army Benevolent Fund to support soldiers. Uh, so are the Army Benevolent Fund doing anything significant for the current operations? Yes, we are. What we've done is we started a new fund called the Current Operations Fund, which um, is raising money to support those soldiers that are coming back wounded in the future. We anticipate a dramatic increase in the need for our support in five to ten years' time, and that's why we've, we've started a new fund for that reason. The Iron Benevolent Funds actually re recently helped a, a serving soldier who was injured and lost a leg in Iraq. Um, we've, we've helped him and ha supported him with several thousands of pounds to help him lead a normal life when he's back at home living with his parents. Very well cared for. But yeah. It's when they leave service in a, you know, a few years' time. Yeah. When the yes. effects yes. are yes. post-traumatic. Yes. Well, at the Army Benevolent Fund, we don't see why the other supermarket chains can't get involved. It's so simple to have a collection once or twice a year, like you see behind me, raising money to support soldiers that are coming back from Afghanistan.